Listen to it. Do you hear it? Volcanic eruptions offer not just a stunning visual show, but also an impressive range of sounds. The sounds can vary from deep rumbles to powerful blasts, with some frequencies falling below what humans can hear. They are particularly special in the case of Iceland's volcanoes, which woke up recently after centuries of sleep. I'm Manisha Dikari, and you're watching First Things Fast. On May 29th, this volcano erupted, threatening the coastal town of Grindavik. It forced the evacuation of the Blue Lagoon Spa Resort nearby. This latest eruption followed a series of earthquakes near the town, which has a population of about 3,800 people. Back in December, most residents had to leave when the volcano awoke after centuries of dormancy, showcasing nature's raw power. Volcanic eruptions are part of Iceland's identity. The island itself was born from volcanic fire. It's one of the few places on Earth where the mid-ocean ridge is above sea level. What sets Iceland apart geologically also is its position on the mid-Atlantic ridge. But this ridge is a massive underwater mountain range running through the Atlantic Ocean. Iceland is also where the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates meet and slowly pull apart, causing molten rock to rise and erupt at the surface. Unlike typical volcanoes, Iceland's eruptions often come from fissures rather than a central peak. These fissures create floods of lava resembling tiger stripes on a map. The plates pull at an angle, forming fissures that cut into the ground and guide magma towards the surface. The Reykjanes Peninsula, where these recent eruptions occurred, had a quiet spell after its last active period between 800 and 1240 CE. But in late 2019, earthquakes started shaking this peninsula. On March 19, 2021, Reykjanes came alive again. Lava flowed near Fagradalfjall mountain, marking the first of many eruptions. In 2024, despite worries about the eruption, Keflavik Airport here has stayed open so far. Volcanic eruptions can be a major threat to air travel since ash in the atmosphere can cause jet engines to fail. It can also harm flight control systems and reduce visibility. However, the airport has stated that they are accustomed to volcanic activity and are well prepared to handle it without needing to shut it down. For now, the heart of the earth beats loudly in Iceland. These eruptions, both awe-inspiring and humbling, connect us to the primal forces that forged our planet. As we listen to the sounds of the volcano, from the deep rumbles to the powerful blasts, we are reminded of the incredible power of nature and the enduring spirit of those who live in its shadows.